Welcome to the Defeating Epilepsy Foundation YouTube channel. At the Defeating Epilepsy Foundation, our mission is to provide the advocacy and educational resources needed to the epilepsy community and our society. We are dedicated to removing the stigma associated with epilepsy and help to create opportunities for individuals battling epilepsy. In this presentation, we will discuss what refractory seizures are, how doctors diagnose refractory epilepsy, common seizures associated with refractory epilepsy, causes of refractory seizures, symptoms of refractory seizures, treatments for refractory seizures, and seizure first aid for refractory seizures. Refractory seizures are seizures that are not controlled despite attempts to control them with anti-seizure medication or a combination. Around one-third of individuals who are battling epilepsy have refractory or drug-resistant epilepsy. Due to the seizures being uncontrolled, refractory epilepsy can cause a lot of hardship in someone's life. Many are unable to attend school or obtain gainful employment. They are at higher risk for injury, psychological problems, and SUDEP. When diagnosing refractory epilepsy, a physician will order an EEG to measure brain activity to see if anything abnormal is taking place. An MRI or CAT scan may be ordered as well to see if they can locate where the seizure activity is taking place. A neurologist may try a variety of medications or combination of medications before giving a diagnosis of refractory epilepsy. Two common types of seizures that are associated with refractory epilepsy are primary generalized and partial seizures. Primary generalized, also known as tonic-clonic, start on both sides of the brain, resulting in the person losing consciousness. Partial or focal seizures are located in only one area of the brain. The person may experience an aura from the seizure. In some situations, the seizure can spread to other areas of the brain, resulting in a tonic-clonic seizure. Someone can develop refractory epilepsy from a head injury, infection, brain tumor, or a high fever. In many cases, the cause of a person developing epilepsy is not known. It is also not known why, in some cases, anti-seizure medication cannot control seizure activity. Common symptoms of refractory seizures are convulsions, loss of consciousness, loss of bowel or bladder control, staring into space, falling, and muscle rigidness. Physicians will use anti-seizure medication as a first resource to try to control seizure activity. Common medications used are gabapentin, lamictatrine, levetiracetine, oxcarbazepine, tiagabine, topriamate, and sonisamide. When medication fails, options such as surgery or a VNS may be an option. If someone with refractory epilepsy has a tonic-clonic seizure, ease the person to the floor. Turn them on their side and put a folded blanket or piece of clothing under their head. Start timing the seizure. Make sure there are no items in the area that can cause them injury. Remove any eyeglasses or if they have a tie on, loosen it to make it easier for them to breathe. If the seizure lasts for more than five minutes, call for medical help. If someone with refractory epilepsy has a focal seizure, speak quietly and calmly. Avoid yelling at the person unless it is necessary to keep them safe. Keep them away from objects that can cause harm and or injury. Stay next to the person to help avoid injury. During the seizure, the person might display odd behavior such as screaming, mumbling, pacing. If the seizure lasts for more than five minutes, call for medical attention. Inform the EMT of the person's condition and the medication they are on if known. If law enforcement arrives first, let them know of the person's diagnosis. To learn more about what refractory epilepsy is, please check out the resources used in the presentation today. Please like our social media pages and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you for your support and together we will defeat epilepsy.